Welcome to Morwine's Variable Volume Tank Assembly video. Everything you need to start using your tank is included in the box. In order to protect it during shipping, your tank will arrive without the hardware attached and will need to be assembled before use. All you need is a crescent wrench and a flathead screwdriver. So grab your tools and let's get to it. Locate these items found in your tank hardware package. The stainless steel plug goes into the upper port on the tank. Attach it to the tank and screw it in until finger tight. Then using your wrench, tighten a little bit more, being careful not to over tighten it. The lower port receives the ball valve. Begin by screwing in the stainless steel nipple until finger tight. It's important that the ball valve be oriented so that the handle points away from the tank when in the open position. Attach the valve to the nipple and screw until finger tight. Finally, using a wrench, gently tighten the valve until snug. The floating lid has three parts we'll be assembling. The bladder, the airlock, and the pump. We'll start with the bladder, then move on to the other two. We'll begin by removing the retaining nut so we can remove the product tag from the bladder nipple assembly. Flip the bladder so that the nipple faces inward, like so. Insert the nipple into the hole in the variable volume tank lid and secure into place using the brass retaining nut removed earlier. The bladder will need to be stretched onto the lid, and it can be a little tough getting it on. Setting the lid on the floor and bracing it with your foot gives you something to pull against and often helps make the job easier. Once the bladder is on, fine-tune the placement so that the bladder sits evenly around the entire edge of the lid. To attach the airlock to the lid, begin by removing the end cap. Next, remove the large retaining nut. It's important to leave the gasket in place, as this will be what makes the seal against the lid when we install it. Insert the airlock into the lid from underneath. Then, attach the retaining nut and screw it all the way down until it is nice and snug. This pulls the gasket on the other side of the airlock tight against the lid so it can make a good seal. Finally, attach the end cap, and our airlock assembly is done. Thread a hose clamp onto one end of the tubing and attach it to the bladder's nipple. Be sure to push it far enough onto the nipple so that you have enough room to accommodate the entire width of the hose clamp. Tighten the connection with the screwdriver. Next, thread the other hose clamp onto the remaining end of the tubing and attach it to the pump. To finish up, tighten the connection with the screwdriver. To set the lid, start with the pump valve in its completely closed, clockwise position. Then open the valve around one and a half turns. This setting allows air to go into the bladder, but not to keep rushing out immediately as you try to set the lid. Next. Lower your lid to the desired height and pump the bladder up until the needle on the pump gauge is in the green, around one bar. 
Once set, gently tighten the valve to secure the seal. To release the lid, simply hold the lid to keep it from falling. Open the pump valve a few turns to release the pressure. And the lid removes freely. The airlock that comes with your variable volume tank is simple and effective. During fermentation, keep the cap loose to allow gas to escape. When fermentation is over, simply close the cap to make an airtight seal. Thank you for choosing More Wine's Variable Volume Tank by Speidel. This world-class, high-quality, German-manufactured tank is the perfect fit for your cellar. This tank will provide years of dependable service, and we know that you will enjoy using it as much as we do. Thanks for watching.